I'm Emma Greenwell and this is my Take 5. The things you may have seen me in are probably shameless. One day you'll look back and wish it didn't happen so fast. The film Love and Friendship. She has an uncanny understanding of men's natures. And now I've got a new series which is The Rook on Stars. If it fell into the wrong hands it could have devastating consequences. My favourite book to turn film is Room, and I also adore Brie Larson. This is our chance. I think the film really captured the childlike view of the world. I felt like what I'd envisioned when I was reading it was sort of on screen, but even better. We are going to bake a birthday cake. I was so involved and so invested, and the kids in the back of the pickup truck um, wrapped in the blanket, and I, I honestly thought I was going to have a panic attack, even though I know what happens. I'm scared. I know. I think it's a very good example of a book that was adapted incredibly well. At the moment, I'd really love to sit down with Phoebe Waller-Bridge and pick her brain, and I also think she's very naughty, and I think we'd get on quite well. Yes! I will watch anything that Phoebe puts her name on. I, th I think she's honestly like an amazing voice in this generation, and I think everything she touches turns to gold. She's a real genius. Which you think is an overstatement? So, yeah, massive fangirl. Hi, Phoebe. It's sort of moving. I think what's incredible about Fleabag is in one scene, you can be sort of almost wetting your pants laughing, and then in floods of tears. I think she really captures that vulnerability of humans, and she really gets people. People make mistakes. And it's sort of what makes it so bold and so interesting. Yes, extraordinary. My Desert Island TV series, hands down, is Felicity. I'm Felicity Porter. Yeah, I know, I'm Ben. I was very late to the game. I watched it almost 10 years after it came out, and I'm obsessed. I literally went out and bought a whole new wardrobe to try and be Kerry Russell. OK. OK. All right. I just really loved the idea that she totally changed her life for a guy, and it kind of turned out for the better. This all might be a colossal mistake. And when she cut her hair off, I also freaked out and was screaming at the television. Definitely, wow, bad. I didn't go to college, so I kind of find shows that are about college and university kind of really interesting. It's sort of, I live vicariously through them. That's really a perfect, perfect answer. Alabama from True Romance. Oh, wow! All those scenes where she's getting like thrown around and then she like gets back up. I was like, she's such a badass, she's so cool. I'm like a scrappy tomboy at this point and she's like hot and sexy and also like a badass. Thank you. <laughs> kind of weird, but um, I used to dream about that all the time and the whole kind of Bonnie and Clyde thing. I think it's an amazing movie. He's one of my favorite directors, so yeah. You're so cool. You're so cool. The Rook is based on a novel by Daniel O'Malley of the same name. It's a really interesting format of like a spy thriller with very soft supernatural undertones. I don't think there's a lot like it on television. I play Miffany Thomas, who is The Rook, but we don't really know much about her because when you meet me, I don't know who I am. What happened at the bridge? I don't know. My memory's a massive black hole. I really got to play and find this character and build on it very organically, which was such a joy and a real gift as an actor. What kind of monster? Am I? That was my take five, and now you can watch me in the Rook on Stars.